Hey guys, back in the old days when I used to play League, there was a bit of a disease of misinformation that started spreading like wildfire, mixed metaphors I know, through the bar that I played out of. And I kind of had to like stage a little intervention before that misinformation reached my own team. The misinformation was, I guess, more of a misinterpretation because the guy had, that had started this was a good player. He knew what he was, you know, he just didn't say it particularly well. And the people he said it to didn't interpret it very well. And this is what happens, you know, with bad information. It seems to spread much more quickly than true information. So what he had been interpreted as saying was that when a spinning ball hits a cushion, that that spin reverses, just like the ball's direction, you know, reverses because it just bounds. That if this ball goes in, for example, with clockwise spin, it, then it will come off with counterclockwise spin. This is not true, and it takes about two seconds uh, to prove to yourself that that is not true, but I had to tell my team that, and they're like, yeah, but Joe Blow said, well, Joe Blow would misinterpret. I want to talk about that and kind of try to remember some of the things that I that I was talking to my team about back then. I probably know more now, have more knowledge now than I did back then, and hopefully that will make up for the fact that I've probably forgotten about a lot of the stuff that I said back then. It's, you know, maybe it'll, it'll end up eating out. Know. So, this is the thing. Everybody that's watching this, I'm sure, knows about running English versus reverse English, or helping side versus, uh, is, is it reverse side, whatever it is. So, in, in a case like this, if I'm going to shoot this cue ball, at this diamond with right English, that is running English. That is running English, I hit it like that. If I hit it with left side, left English, that's that. Which angle the cue ball goes into the cushion that determines whether it's running English or, or reverse English. If it comes in like this, with counterclockwise spin, then that is helping. But if it comes in like this, with counterclockwise spin, then that is reverse English. Whereas if it comes in straight, it's, then it's just English. On consecutive cushions, Running English stays running English. If I shoot just like I was talking about, go here with counterclockwise spin, so right English. It's going to have that right English when I first hit it. It's going to get a little bit more when it hits that cushion, and it didn't quite go in. It was running English here when it hit this cushion. It was still running English. When it came over and hit this cushion, it picked up a little bit more because of the friction with the cushion, and I'll talk about that. Still running English, though, all the way around. One of the reasons that a lot of this got misinterpreted is what was going on was, well, what you know, what if the cushions aren't consecutive? What, what if I'm just going to go here, back to here? The well, English reverses in, you know, no, it doesn't. But it is affected. It is affected by the friction with the cushion. If a cue ball, any ball, comes into a cushion with no spin, I'm going to shoot this with, at that diamond, just, just a regular rolling ball, vertical axis, no spin, okay? When it left this cushion, it had a little bit of counterclockwise spin. And it got that 
because of the friction with the rail. So it came in just rolling, but then as it rebounded, it picked up just a little bit of counterclockwise spin, just a little bit. So by the time it got to this rail, if any of that spin was still around, it had running English, a little bit of running English when it was pushed, and then the same thing happened again. It comes here with a little bit of running English, there's friction that happens, and it's probably going to pick up, in this case, a little bit more running English. And then come up here and hit this cushion, and maybe pick up a little bit more. The, it's, it's the contact with the cushion and the friction that affects the spin on the cue ball. And sometimes it can, that can make it look like that spin just reversed. But it really didn't reverse. It may have slowed down a lot. And sometimes it may have slowed down enough to where it doesn't matter what you did. If I want to have a shot like this, I'm going to come pretty close to straight into the rail. Just a little teeny tiny bit of right. Half a tip of right. I hope that went well up there and scratch. I don't even know if you can see that. That wasn't a good example because when a ball rolls at distance, the, the spin starts to go away. And this is Bernese ball. Y'all might be able to see this. I'll try to hit it slowly enough. I'm going to basically put maximum right spin on this ball and just shoot it at that diamond. And watch. Might be able to see it easier in 60 FPS. Watch what happens to the spin on this ball. It starts out with my maximum. But then that starts to level out. I hit that a little bit too hard. It, start, it starts to just become just regular rolling. If you have really dirty balls, really dirty cloth, that's going to be, there's going to be more of that that's going to happen. And on some tables, at some speeds, you may even get to the point where the ball is just rolling and that's it. Can you see that spin kind of moving up? With distance, that can, that can happen. Where was I? I was talking about on opposite cushions, sometimes it can make, well, it can obviously make a difference. That's what I've been talking about, the friction with the cushion. If I come into this cushion with counterclockwise spin, it's going to use that counterclockwise spin to go off that way. That's it. That's running English. If I come in this way with counterclockwise spin, same spin, now it's hold up the English. You're still going to have it probably when it bounces off the cushion. But that hold up English has been slowed down. The amount of spin, the spin rate, whatever the scientific term is, has been slowed down by this contact. And in some cases, it can get slowed down enough that whatever remaining friction is happening on the cushion can impart just a little bit of the other spin. This comes in with just a little bit of counterclockwise spin. It's in contact with the cushion for whatever, you know, tenth of a microsecond or whatever it is, but there is a, an interval of time where it's in contact with this cushion and getting that friction applied to it and then, so it may come off this cushion with what is now clockwise spin. What's counterclockwise? So, um, in most cases, I don't know if there's a practical application for, the, for that type of thing. But it can happen. Um, a lot of people have seen playing banks. They'll think, oh, that ball just reversed. Now, sometimes I'll hit a bank on, on some equipment and the ball will look like it's backing up. It'll come in like this. So I'm gonna bank the one to here, but I'm gonna to try to hit it really short. I'm gonna to try to hit it short, but, but hard. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna to have to try harder. Now it's the six, that might work. 
Wait, line it up so it's short. So this ball is going to come short. You see it backing up? I think that may be part of the root cause for the... Oh, English reverse when it hits the rail. So the first time it hit, to, it hit, it hit about here, and then it started going uphill. What happened to it is when I hit the six, it didn't have any side spin when it hit this rail the first time. But because of that friction, it picked up a little bit of side spin, a little bit of counterclockwise spin. And then it comes over here because I hit it hard, it's still got a little bit of counterclockwise spin. You still got that. And it, so it hits it and that affects the way it comes back off this rail. So what, it got, got there with nothing, no side spin. It got over here with reverse side spin, which indeed reversed it. And that, that happens. They can happen. I think that's probably one of the big reasons that that's been a, a fairly common myth over the years that I've heard that English reverses off the rim. It really, it just doesn't. Um, but it does decrease or increase depending on the quality of the equipment and the angle that it comes into the cushion with and things like that. And sometimes it can look like it reversed all because it's bouncing off a rail. If it actually did reverse from clockwise spin to counterclockwise or vice versa, it's just because of this friction rubbing against the ball during that brief moment of contact. It's just because of that. Another thing that I really haven't been able to prove, just kind of one of the things I think, is that I'm thinking there's probably a maximum amount of spin. Remember I said when you when you hit a ball. With a, I'm going to shoot this with running English. I'm going to hit this about 10 o'clock at that second diamond down there. And it'll probably go in the pocket up here, which is what I want. Every time it hit a cushion there, it picked up a little bit extra left hand, left hand side. Just a little bit. I think at some point, if I had some kind of a super stroke, super tip, whatever, they could come into this rail with so much spin, so much clockwise spin. Did I say counterclockwise before? I didn't mean to if I did. So much clockwise spin that this friction might actually slow down the rate of that spin. It'd still be, it'd still be clockwise, but it might not be as it might not be spinning as quickly. I haven't really been able to prove that. There's probably no practical application at all for it. I think there probably is a maximum. I'm looking at, I've got some stuff written up on the board. I don't have a lot. I kind of hope that I could just, you know, think out loud and maybe remember a lot of the stuff that I said. On consecutive rails, Running English will always be running English. On non-consecutive rails, then yet you can have a different story depending on how much that spin got changed. If I have, if I have, I'm going to shoot this with right English. No, you want right English? Well, I'm, I'm, if I shoot this with left English, like that, it might not, it might not make it to to an opposite rail. Let's try it like this. Yeah, I did. So, came across the table. It hit it here with running English. It came across the table, and it still spinning in the same direction. But now that's hold up English. And I didn't see what happened here. The spin rate definitely got changed when it hit here, and by the time it got here, it was either hold up English. Or running, which don't know. It all happened too quickly for me. And the last thing I just wanted to say about the side spin right now for this video is I think it's kind of interesting that a lot of these consecutive rail shots with running English, they seem like they're a little bit self-correcting. Now, when I was first, I think the guy was teaching me the 
like the three cushion diamond system. And he said, well, hit it with running in English. And I'm like, what's that? And he says, top left. And I'm like, well, okay, is that hit to keep at 9.30 or 10 or 10.30 or 11 or 11.30? He says, well, I don't know, top left. Okay, well, it turns out that in most cases, that's all you need. You don't need to hit it at 9.30 or 9.45 or 10.04 or whatever. So I hit that, that shot at 10 o'clock before. This time I'm going to hit do my best to aim at the same diamond and hit it at 11. You have a hit hard enough, it'll come around and maybe go in. This one I'm going to move out a little bit because I don't want to have any kind of match. Say I'm going to hit this at 9.30. I'm going to hit this shot at 9.30 again at the exact same place, exact same uh, diamond down there at 9.30. I uh, almost went in. Let's do uh, 1130. 1130 is hard to see with my wonky eyes. Yeah, I almost went in. So, I'm actually surprised I didn't make all those shots because I've done it many times. Um, there's a little bit of like self-correction that happens on a lot of these multiple rail shots. Not re really related to the content of this video, but still kind of cool. You can hit a shot like, well, if there was a ball here and I'm hooked, I could hit a shot with a little bit too much English, then I guess it would be ideal or a little bit less than would be ideal. But it's a little bit self-correcting. And a lot of times the shot is going anyway because of that. It doesn't work on every shot. It doesn't work on every uh, multiple rail shot. But it's kind of cool. So that was about 11. I shoot the same thing about 10. So it's hitting this cushion in the same place. But because the amount of spin it's hitting this cushion with is different, it's hitting this cushion in a different place, which is making it hit this cushion in a different place. But it all works together, and it's kind of cool, I think. I'm going to stop this. I have a completely new audio setup. I really hope that it's, it's, it's doable. And functional if it's not. I don't know, man. I'm worrying way too much about audio quality for a channel where I don't sing. If I sang, then then maybe I would be justified in worried about worrying about it more. But I don't sing, and you guys should all be really grateful that I don't sing. And that's it. Thanks, guys.